All right, so this is the 2017 Surface Pro, the i5 model with a 8 gigabytes of RAM and a 256 gigabyte SSD. And uh, today we're going to be doing some brief editing inside of Adobe Premiere CC. So um, real quick, I'll just go to uh, the specs on my computer so you can see if you go Intel i5. 7300 CPU at 2.60 gigahertz, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 64-bit operating system. Um, so I've got an external hard drive plugged in as you can see here, Seagate external hard drive. That's going to have the footage on it. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Adobe Premiere. So you can just get the gist of um, what you can do. So. I'm not really that fluent in Adobe Premiere. Honestly, I've done most of my video editing in Final Cut. But I'm just going to do some basic things. I'll probably start and stop this video and piece it together and edit it inside of uh, Adobe Premiere as well. So when you're watching this, just know I probably um, edited this inside of Adobe Premiere. Uh, so anyway, new project. Um, we'll just call it test. So sorry for the shakiness, um, I've got basically my iPhone 7 <laughs> and I'm holding it with a little tripod so I don't really have any other better way to do this but uh, we're going to go ahead and import some video. Um, these videos were all filmed in 1080p on a GoPro 4 so just to let you know that's what video we're working with. Um, here we go, let's select this one and import it do another one just to have a few clips in here yeah we'll start with these um, it, it, it imports pretty quick. Most of these videos, I think, are pretty short. Um, you know, they may be like, you know, a couple minutes at a, at a time. So none of the files are that big. But anyway, we'll click on this one and see what we what we have here. I'm scrub back and push play. So this is just playback. Um, I'm gonna mark an in, input marker here. That's where I want to start my clip and I'm going to let it play for a second. And out. Alright, so I just did my in and out markers. We'll start with that. I'm going to drag it right over here to the timeline. Um, let me scrub through here and see if there's anything good in this video. Mm, nothing really good in there. <whistles> Just scanning through the videos real quick. I'll try to import another one. I don't really see anything good inside of here. Anyway, we'll push play on this one. I'll just push the space bar and let this one play out. So this is, um, again, it was filmed on a GoPro Hero 4 in 1080p. Um, just some free diving videos in Florida. I think this one might come up on a little stingray. The video playback is, is pretty smooth. Yeah, there went a stingray. Um, I'm going to try to get that video clip real quick, just a real short. Alright, so we'll mark an input marker there. 
There went the stingray. And then we're gonna do an out, so it's just a real quick little clip there. And uh, we'll drag it over to the timeline and snap it into place there. Um, I'm gonna click up on effects and drag in. Um, I'm gonna look for cross dissolve. So when I type in cross, it comes up nice and quick. We'll drag across dissolve right down there and let's see um, how it transitioned. Well, so as you can see it's, it was pretty quick the transition there um, when I snapped it into place on the timeline there goes our cross dissolve okay let me find, uh, let me go back to the editing tool here and create a new bin and uh, we'll just call this video footage. Enter, and uh, we'll drag our drag our videos down into the uh, to the bin. Try to keep it a little clean because the screen is small, so there's not a whole lot of real estate to play around with. Okay. Let's go back here and see if we can't get a little bit more footage to add into the video. This looks like a pretty long one. Let's go ahead and import it. This is 1.32 gigs that it just imported. Just like that. So let's click play and see how it loads this one up. I'm kind of going to scrub through and see if this one has the snook swimming around in it. Nope. Don't see the snook. I'll just drag it into the bin. And we'll import more. One twenty-seven. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and import uh, this one's two point six four gigabytes in size, so it's pretty, pretty large. And let's push play on it. Maybe the snook are in this one. So it does a pretty good job of scrubbing the video. Like it's pretty quick. Um, I really. You know, the only other computer I really edit on is uh, MacBook Pro. And I'd say they're pretty comparable as far as, like, the speed goes. Alright, so... We're just gonna, for the sake of this video, we're just gonna put something else on the timeline. In, mark an end point there. Then we'll mark it out. Another short clip. We'll drag it on over. And uh, we're going to go back to our effects. We'll drag another cross dissolve here. And let's click play and see if it transitions smoothly. It's not bad. So as you can see, it, it, it's doing pretty good. It's keeping up. Um, so, all right, so I'm not plugged in with the charger right now. I'm feeling the back. Right now, it's not warm. Um, it's fine. Because, um, you know, I've read a comment on another user's video. I did just do a little quick test earlier today with my charger plugged in. And naturally with the charger, it plugs in right here. So it's gonna get a little bit warmer over here just from uh, the, you know charging the battery and using it at the same time. Um, I thought I'd also pull up the uh, task manager real quick and show you 
um, the performance. So here, um, our CPU is, is pretty low at the moment because I'm not doing anything. Memory is at 51%, just to let you know with everything on this computer closed, um, my memory was already at 30%, so roughly Premiere is using like 20% of the, the 8 gigabytes of memory. Um, I don't see this being a problem, but I'll come back to this window in a few minutes, like I'll let it try to render something um, or stabilize, you know, because that really works the computer. But thought I just would mention this to you. So not really using a whole lot of resources just to keep the program open until you're actually doing something that it really is going to tax it. Like, um, like I said, the image stabilization, that will really peg it out. And I'll try to give you a visual of what that would look like here in just a few. All right, so I found some footage here with uh, some snook in it. So we'll just push play and see what we get. There they are. Okay, we're gonna mark an N here. And we'll do an out right there. Um, so what I wanna do with this clip is uh, we'll put it in here. We'll go back to our effects, we'll drag across dissolve here. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, I just want to make sure I've applied my transition here. Okay, so it's just a few seconds worth of video. Um, we're going to go ahead and select that last snook video. And uh, we're going to go into the effects here, um, distort. Warp Stabilizer. We're going to drag it over there. Um, I'm just going to leave everything how it is. Um, so it's going now. I'm going to open up my my, uh, my performance bar here. And you can see the CPU is working a lot harder now. Uh, the memory is still hovering like in the 50s. Uh, not really using too much of the disk. But the CPU is, is doing all the work here. So uh, you can see over here that it's it's basically uh, doing its thing. It's on. It's about 48 percent. It's going pretty quick. But again, this is a really short, like few second little clip. I just wanted you to see um, what the CPU is doing basically. So I mean, the the Surface Pro is doing a pretty good job actually for for what it is. Um, it's it's cool. I'm touching it right now. It's cool. It's not warm right now like slightly slightly warm I imagine if this was like you know a minute long clip or you know even 30 seconds long and I was doing this that it would start to heat up pretty quickly oops minimized it with my thumb um, but it's not it's not doing too bad actually um, and it's done actually so then you see the CPU the moment it finished it it just went right back down Memory is still hovering right around the same, but again, here you can see the CPU usage just right when it finished, it just dropped back down. So overall, to do basic importing um, and just viewing of of footage, it's not um, it's not really taxing the computer too bad. So let's go ahead and view what we have going on here. So there's a little bit of blotchiness going on. Um, with rendering the video. So I'm going to stop that and start it back over. And scroll back to the beginning. And push play. There it goes. Just had a hard time catching up there with rendering the video with live playback. Loaded the transition pretty pretty good. Yeah, it's loading those transitions fine. And here's one that was uh, stabilized. Okay, so let's try one other task. So this video clip, this little segment right here, um, I actually want to go to speed duration we're gonna lower this down to 75% speed 
Let's see what this does. It pretty much does it right away. It doesn't really use up any resources. So let's start a little bit backwards here. Let's see if it slowed it down. Yep, it definitely slowed it down. You can't really make out what was there, but uh, yeah, it works pretty good. I mean, for your basic editing, it's fine. Is this something that I would want to edit on like all the time? Not really. But for traveling, um, you know, it's not bad. If you are in a bind and you just want to like do a quick little little edit or for, you know, just basic home videos and whatnot, I don't see any reason why a person could not edit in Premiere. You know, and again, we'll, we'll watch this little clip. Speakers are working. Here's our slow mo video, our 75% speed video clip. And here's just a regular, back to regular speed. And then this one is stabilized. Not bad. So I'm just doing a quick title here. Um, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on it. So that looks good. Free diving the inlet. Let's use that. Okay, so I just placed my title down into uh, the timeline. And we'll do, um, we'll just add another crass dissolve. Okay. So let's rewind here and let's see if this will play. Yep, oh, pretty good. Alright, let's try to export it. Maybe just going through a couple different settings here. All right, so this is uh, about a 41 second video. So it's not a really big video, but for the sake of this, I just wanted to show you it. Um, let's see, I'm pretty sure it's gonna peg out the CPU. Yep, 100%, I knew it would. Um, this is pretty common, even if you're on a MacBook Pro, if you were to look at the resource monitor on it. Um, on the export, it's gonna use every single possible resource to try to get this done. So it's using a lot of the memory, a lot of the CPU, um, you know, it's not too bad. I mean, that's, that's kind of common. This computer, this isn't really the, the sole purpose of a computer like this. Uh, again, I'm feeling the back of the computer. It's, it's only slightly warm, not alarming in any sort. If I had the charger in, I'm sure it would get a little bit hotter. Um, 
Adobe Premiere takes a little bit more time to export video as it is. I'm sure if you had the i7 model with 16 gigs of RAM, it would go a little bit smoother. Um, but again, this is a tiny, tiny, basically a tablet and a laptop all in one. It's pretty impressive with what it can do. So I, you know, I can't complain for, for what this is doing. I wouldn't complain for what it is. Um, you know, it's expensive, but you know, for 1500 bucks or whatever, you could definitely build a, a desktop PC that would be a lot faster than this for editing video. But for what this computer is and what it's capable of doing, it's actually pretty darn good. So like I said, I'm not gonna complain um, about it. I'm pretty impressed with it. It did the job well. Um, we'll save this. Saving the project, there you go. Um, and the CPU is still kind of, there it goes, finally made its way back down to where it's happy. So here's our video, final product. Okay, so as you can see, it does a pretty good job actually with editing video. Um, I'm not gonna pretend that I know a whole lot about Adobe Premiere. This was actually the first bit of editing I've ever done. I just downloaded uh, the trial for Creative Cloud today. So it's not too bad. I had to, had to go on uh, Google. So you see here I had to find where, uh, where to make a title, um, but not too bad. So here I'm going to just do this uh, little quick recap on the uh, the front facing camera on the Surface Pro actually so you could kind of see what that looks like. Um, so Adobe Premiere Pro um, CC on the Surface Pro actually works pretty good. It's obviously not a uh, workstation power uh, capable computer but like I said it's really portable for what it is. It actually did a pretty good job pretty quick. I'll probably cut and splice these little clips that I did on my, my phone together before I put it up on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I don't know a whole lot of advanced editing features inside of Adobe Premiere. I'll have to mess around with it, but um, I just wanted to show you the basics. I didn't do any color correction on there or anything like that today, um, which I know how to do inside of Final Cut, but um, overall I just wanted to show you, you know, basically the importing and exporting give you a gist of how the Surface Pro is handling it. Like if I reach on my computer, it's fine now. I'm outside of uh, Adobe Premiere. It, it only got a little bit warm. Again, it's gonna get a little bit hotter if you're gonna plug in the, the uh, charger and use Adobe, you're definitely gonna use it and uh, make it get a little bit hotter, but it's definitely barely warm. Um, for having no fan, it's actually holding up really well. So I think it performed pretty good. Hopefully you, you get a solid idea of what you can do or what maybe you can't do from watching this video. Um, if you like it, just uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, share the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.